Hey Pisces, good morning. Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today we're going to be doing a money and finances reading. I just woke up, kind of a little groggy, but very excited about this reading, Pisces. Let's see what is in store for the Pisces Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In regards to finances, money, career, success, and all of that. I hope you're doing good. I want to wish you a beautiful day. And thank you for being here. Alrighty. Universe, angels, archangels, ascended masters of love and light, please bring in the most relevant and important messages for Pisces. Please bring in the best advice, the most accurate predictions, and the most powerful confirmations for Pisces. I'm going to be taking cards upright that fall on the table. I'm using the Sandrio uh, Hello Kitty tarot or whatever. Well, just Pisces need to know for money and finances. All right. <coughs> Beautiful. Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, the Strength card. Oh my gosh. And the Ten of Cups. Absolutely beautiful, Pisces. So I see here that something has shifted. Something has changed within you. And there is no way to go back, okay? And this has to do with your wealth consciousness. Your ability to understand yourself as a wealthy individual. Your ability to recognize wealth, opportunity, prosperity in places where before you may have not seen that, that potential. I see you here experiencing a lot of emotional fulfillment with matters regarding the home, family, household, um, you know, kind of like what you fe feed your children or the meals that you prepare or with what products you clean the home or like how you choose to distribute the budget. I don't know, it's like there is a mindful system here that seems to be getting polished, almost. And it seems to be bringing you a lot of joy. I see here, with the Queen of Pentacles, the possible presence of an Earth sign, Capricorn Virgo Taurus. There could be someone here who perhaps has like taught you the value of money or the value of taking good care of your money or your uh, physical assets. It doesn't have to be necessarily an earth sign, but it seems here that you have the presence of someone who is very, very, very mindful. It could be any sign. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. It really can be any sign. And this person seems to find joy in taking good care of things, taking good care of the car, its maintenance, taking good care of kitchen appliances, taking good care of clothing, taking good care of the physical body. This person seems to be infusing that joy onto you. Maybe things that in the past felt like a drag for you. Um, it's like you're learning to have that emotional fulfillment out of those things. This could be because of a spouse. This could be because of a best friend. This could be because of a housekeeper. You know, it could really be any sorts of any sort of like influence. But I see here that you're grounded, that you're stable, that you're prosperous, that you're wealthy, that your wealth comes from within. It's not necessarily dependent on the economy or the circumstances around you or uh, your efforts. It seems like abundance here comes from within. It's like from your heart, from your connection to spirit. And that makes it a un, uh, what am I looking for? 
a un <laughs> an unlimited resource. <laughs> well, that was strange. A unlimited resource for you. It's like you you can tap into that connection to spirit, that powerful ball of energy that is never ending in order to bring that abundance in. Man, I miss being able to use my nose. <laughs> it's like... <sighs> <laughs> uh, I hope you guys don't mind how stuffy I sound I get a feeling as well that maybe you are really stepping into this very appreciative mode of looking at life and looking at objects in your life and that is being passed on to your children or to younger people, younger beings who are learning from you. They see the joy that you experience and they therefore create that joy themselves. Learn to love money. They learn to love handling money, administering money, valuing opportunities, valuing assets. Now we got here a Knight of Wands. And a strength card. So this could very well be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Kind of like a more volatile energy. Could be someone younger. Doesn't have to be. But I do see here that someone comes in with a lot of ideas. But a lot of passion and motivation and inspiration and desire. And passion that exudes and overflows. And what I'm seeing is that you are sitting in your throne, being grounded, being wealthy, being stable, and this very fiery, all over the place energy comes in, and maybe in the past you would have entertained that, but now it's like you're looking, you're closing your eyes, tapping into the joy of your abundance, and letting that person, that knight, as you can see here, running on the horse, you sort of let them go by you. You don't entertain them. So that leads me to believe that, you know, if this is a person that's a little bit more literal, not literal, more like obvious, but if this is like a new passion, something that could make you, something that could consume you, it's like you're like, eh, you know what, I'll let it go by. If something could burn you out, if something could take you off of your path, if, you know, a new desire wants to take over your life, your mind, your heart, you're like, I'm good, move along. <laughs> Whereas before, maybe that would have completely taken over and perhaps taken that feeling of groundedness away from you. I see mountains here. I see pyramids here. I see countryside. Some of you are going to be traveling. You're going to be investing your money in traveling. Others of you definitely on nutrition and supplements. I see here mushrooms. I see here carrots. I see here pears and berries. I see... Uh, like protein shakes, even like Reiki, possibly, uh, what is that called, Qigong? And the one that you do, the one that the ladies do in the park, <laughs> what is that called? Uh, Oh my god, I need to go. Tai Chi. <laughs> tai Chi. The one that the ladies do in the park. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Little ball of energy. Right? Tai Chi. Comment below if you've ever done it. Comment below if you are interested in doing it. Please let me know. I've always wanted to try Tai Chi, actually. 
Anyway, uh, Leo season. Bringing the perfect balance between structure and excitement. Groundedness, safety, and passion and unexpected, spontaneous fun. Some of you are working on that balance. There's a Leo here. What is it about this card? For starters, it feels very scattered to me. There could be a Leo who's very scattered. Or there could be someone who's very scattered in general in your life. It's like they're sleeping on opportunities. This person seems to have an ability to see all, like to break down things into individual pieces and focus on kind of like that zoomed in strategy on, you know, completing tasks or something, but they have a hard time looking at the whole thing. They can't see the forest past the trees or something. There could be someone here getting married to a Leo. There could be someone here who is the mother of a Leo, Leo child, Leo pet. Is someone watching the guardian of an actual lion, literally? <laughs> Please comment below if that's the case. That's fascinating. On a more normal note, many of you may be the, the guardian, so to speak, of a uh, lion spirit guide, right? Or the guardian or the guarded. Is your animal spirit guide a lion? Comment below. If you've always wanted to go to Egypt, comment below. <laughs> I love to connect to you guys that way. I don't always get a chance to answer the comments, but I do read them. At least I try to every time. And with this Ten of Cups, don't focus on the money. Focus on what the money can bring you, right? Do you want generational wealth? Do you want family? Do you want freedom? Do you want stability? Do you want safety? Do you want peace of mind? Then that's the goal. Not necessarily the money. Give room to the universe to allow these things to come in different shapes and forms. But you have nothing to fear here, Pisces. Don't let money stress you out at this time because if it's not coming one way, it's going to be coming in another way, all right? Blessings are yours and they're not going anywhere either. Abundance, prosperity, emotional fulfillment is yours. And the more you fall in love with taking good care of your assets, of yourself, of your home, of your money, the more you fall in love with that the more it multiplies out of love and excitement. The more you dread it, it seems like you attract more situations to feel dread about in regards to money. If at this time you're doing well, if at this time you are stress-free, make sure that you're acknowledging it. Make sure that you're being grateful, that you're not just looking the other way and being like, oh, thank God I don't have to worry about this. Now let's worry about that other thing, okay? Make sure that instead you are thinking, uh, being appreciative to the divine for prayers that have been heard and answered. Many of you prayed about something in the past and you're now living within that prayer manifested. Make sure that you take a moment to celebrate that, okay? Things are looking good for you, Pisces. Abundance is 
here for you to have. Not only in money, but in success and opportunities, fulfillment, and an overall sense of empowerment that comes from being grounded, not from being loud, if that makes sense. So being more wealthy over considering yourself and your personality to be one of a wealthy person instead of like a rich person or like a uh yeah i think that's a better way to say it so yeah pisces this looks good i love you to the moon and back i hope that you enjoyed this video and i will be seeing you in the next one love you so much bye